Welcome to my channel. My name is Rebecca Erlang and I am the leader of Inspired by Elohim Ministries. Today I have very exciting news to share with all of you. We have a seminar coming up. If you are a Christian parent, if you have children, it doesn't matter what age your children are, little teenagers, young adults, if they're still living in your house, this is a seminar you do not want to miss, especially if your children are addicted to technology, gaming, cell phones, all kinds of things, all kinds of technology is, is capturing our children's minds. Okay, so we're launching this, um, this seminar with Dr. Bueller von der Westhaisen. Dr. Bula von Investeisen is an educational psychologist. She's got a degree in neurodevelopment. She has, she is the CEO and founder of Edu Excellence Schools in South Africa. Definitely worth a look at. Um, and very interestingly is she has been part of a research team that had the opportunity to interview and study AI technology. So she's got quite a bit, you know, of um, understanding, um, expertise and research that she's done in many aspects of our children's lives. Therefore, this is this is super exciting for us as a ministry because there aren't a lot of teachings in the Christian um, spheres and influences that we hear of technology. And therefore, I am I'm so privileged and honored to present um, what she's offering to Christian parents to you. Do not miss this. You do not want to miss this. It's time that we as Christians understood the dangers that we live in as a society today and what to protect our children from. We need to start understanding what affects technology has on our children's minds, what effects it has on our children's emotions. Okay, our children are being labeled with ADHD, with all kinds of things today, because um, they say there's something wrong with them, but we're not getting to the root problem. And I believe we're busy uncovering one of our roots. So please do not miss this seminar. It starts on the 10th of September. It's a Saturday from three to five. It's gonna run over two Saturdays. The first Saturday for two hours, and then we'll continue on the following Saturday, the 17th of September from three to five. It's only 800 Rand for both seminars. Okay, so you get four hours with an internationally renowned doctor that's going to tell you exactly what's happening when your child sits in front of that laptop, that computer, that cell phone, and that television. What happens to their minds? What happens to their emotions and how to handle it as a parent? You will also have an opportunity to ask her questions. So without further delay, please listen to the interview that I had the privilege of doing to introduce her to you and just tell you a little bit more about her. Thank you, Rebecca, for the invitation. Um, yeah, where to start? I think that is, it has taken me some time to get here. I think like a lot of people, um, I always thought that I can do it in my own strength, but I can't. So I'm just, I'm here basically just to serve in whatever capacity is required. Can you tell us a little bit about your journey to get here? So I, I will have to start and go all the way back to my own childhood. Um, I grew up as a very, very active child. I had a sort of like two things going on. I had a severe iron deficiency. So at times I was very, very tired and didn't have energy. And at other times I was very active, like the so-called hyperactive children of today. And um, my days were spent mainly 
in a pool or um, in a tree. So when I had to go to school, I um, schooling was just not, I couldn't understand um, reading. I couldn't understand how the scribbles on the page could make sense to the, I, I just couldn't understand reading. It just wasn't, I, I, yeah. So schooling was very, very difficult for me for almost my entire schooling episode. And um, when I reached matric, um, I, I had a teacher that really <laughs> didn't believe in me. And when I asked her to help me with one of the mathematical things, she told me I'm only good enough to have to marry and have children. And in that moment, I decided I'm going to show her. So I then graduated my matric and went to university and did four degrees. Um, but it was a struggle, you know, it, it's hard work. So, and, and part of that was I wanted to help children with the same issues that I had. So I became an educational psychologist. And then very soon, early on in my career, I, I realized that I was not really equipped despite the training. And I then went on to do a second year internship where I specialized in neurodevelopment. And I always just knew that I wanted to create a school. I just, I mean, those days it was, it was far-fetched. I mean, nowadays there's a lot of private schools. But in those days, it was really not something that people really do. But I wanted to create a school where children um, that had the same or that have the same as issues. I don't want to call them issues because I don't see it as problems. But that had this, that, that's got the same hurdles to actually experience school in a different way. Um, because I understand what it feels like at a very, very deep level. And um, that's why I've created Edgy Excellence, is to create that environment. And then since then, um, yeah, just that, that is what I do. Um, in terms of my, my formal training, I just never, never resonated with the concept of diagnosing a child or labeling a child or looking purely from a medical perspective. And um, there's so much that is lost when you do that. The person is lost. So um, our journey is very much around creating an environment where children really, really feel at home, they feel seen. Um, the person comes first before the act of reading or writing. And that is basically what we do. Um, that is so powerful because um, I think so many parents out there have gone through that journey mm -hmm. of um, having their children labeled. Um, I remember that even happened with me. It was my son in school. He was in grade one and his grade one teacher called me in, sat me down and told me that he has ADHD. And I said, no, he doesn't. And she said, if you don't put him on medication, mm. then you're going to ruin the rest of his life. And this was just a teacher. It wasn't even a doctor. Mm. Um, and I also rebelled against that because... Um, it just doesn't sit well with me that people label children when they don't even know them. So to me, this is powerful and I'm very excited about what you are doing. Um, I praise the Lord for it. And I believe that God is empowering you to help, sorry, to help a lot of people, <clears throat> a lot of kids who, who have gone through such traumatic times in their lives where they've been labeled, where they've been cast aside. I'm sure you've, you've already experienced so many children come to freedom and healing through what you are doing. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, um, Beulah, for your time with us in teaching Christian parents, parents as well how to navigate the world right now with their children. It's a difficult uh, one, I think. Yeah, yeah it is. Um, can I ask that you please tell our viewers, you know, 
what are some of the subjects that you feel you might cover? I know it's not all set in stone, but things that you feel on your heart that uh, you will be talking about. Yes, I think um, in our modern day parenting, and I'm also a parent, um, so I understand. Um, technology has become a major, major issue. Um, so that is, for, for a long period of time, I was reluctant to talk about it. And, and I am still reluctant because I can't really speak to this unless, until I've sorted myself out. And, and I've, I've found with COVID, I've been pulled back into technology on a level that, that I'm not comfortable with myself. And I always feel that I, can't, I cannot speak or teach about something where I'm still in it. Um, but I am very much aware of the fact that we need to start to, I need to start to speak about this at this stage. So therefore, I'm now forced to um, look at my own ways as well. But I'm very, very concerned about technology. Um, and more so since, since I've had a, uh, an experience where um, I was invited to become part of a research team to, uh, to look at artificial um, intelligence and artificial consciousness and how, how that is being used at the moment. Um, so the use of technology is definitely a component that we will, we will address. And then um, my field of specialization, which is something I dearly love, and that is neurodevelopment, and how to understand these conditions that are, and I say conditions, um, that our children are um, experiencing. And, and basically, the call would be to come back to nature. And how do you do that as a parent? Amen. Yeah. Amen. And I think many Christian parents, um, they're not aware of these things. You know, we, we all follow the system that has been put in place. And yeah. a lot of Christian parents, I mean, even in ministry, I find this. They, they don't know how to help their children that are bound to a cell phone or a laptop almost all yeah. the time. Yeah. Um, and we're losing our kids. Mm -hmm. We are absolutely losing our kids. <laughs> I think we're going to start with um, with, and the theme of, of my first talk would be captured by connectivity. Okay. Because I think we are all captured in a way that we are not even aware of what's happening. And yes, definitely. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about what your talk will be about? So I think a lot of parents just think it's about... Um, time spent in front of a, of a screen. And first of, first of all, parents don't understand that when we talk about screen time, it's all screens. You know, sometimes I would have a conversation with a parent and they will say, oh, yes, my, my child has got two hours on their computer with games and then he must get off the computer and then he can go onto his iPad. And then I'm thinking, no, no, no. You know, we are talking about screens, all screen time. So I think it's the concept of what do we really talk to when we talk about screen time. And then I think it's extremely important to talk about context and content because that is important. And then I'm going to address neuroanatomy, physiology and, chem and chemistry, how that interferes. And that, then the most important part is what does it do to our psyche? What really goes on behind the scenes? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I can't wait to hear what you have to say. And I thank you so much. May the Lord really bless you for this time that you're giving to us um, and to all parents that are going to be joining you on these courses. I would highly recommend everybody to, to come and see and listen to what you have to say. So, yes, thank you so much, Beulah. Such a we pleasure. Look forward, yeah, we look forward to walking this journey with you and seeing what the Lord wants mm -hmm. to do. Thank you so much. Blessings. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that interview and just learning a little bit more about uh, Dr. Beulah Fenevestes and what she does is just amazing. 
amazing work and I'm so blessed to have the Lord use her in the manner he is to teach us um, you know the dangers out there for our children so please do not miss it again I'm going to give you the dates it begins on the 10th of September from 3 to 5 and then season, session 2 begins on the 17th of September again a Saturday from 3 to 5 it's 800 Rand for both sessions so you're paying 400 Rand for one session I mean that's nothing um, for what you're about to get so please do not miss it send it through to all of your friends everybody that you know that it that are Christians that have children needs to be a part of this so please do us a favor and share this with everybody you know all right blessings shalom